Well, right now we do want to bring in Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. Not a whole lot to talk about, at least today. It's beautiful out there. Amazing. <laughs> and it's at least for part of the weekend, we'll hold on to this. But we do have some showers to talk about on Sunday. Luckily, it's not going to interfere if you're going to the upstate run and roll around Cleveland Park. The 5K going on. Temperatures will be in the 50s. A few clouds, but really good running weather, actually. It'll be nice and cool, but not so cold where it'll be uncomfortable to stand around for very long. And if you're looking for a good time to get outside, morning won't be bad, but the afternoon that's going to be prime because temperatures will be in the 70s. We'll have partly cloudy skies. You may have intervals of cloudiness as some waves of cloud cover roll in ahead of that rain I mentioned for Sunday. But at least we get one more day of temperatures like this with some sunshine. Right now it is 72 in Spartanburg, 74 in Anderson, right around 70 in Asheville. And you can see the heavy showers, even some thunderstorms off to our west. All of that will be working a little bit closer into the weekend. But I do do think we should avoid rain during the daytime hours on Saturday. So starting at 52, some cloud cover you may see the cloud cover break a bit toward lunchtime and then right around 75 degrees at four o'clock. Wow, it's going to feel so good. I think that downtown Greenville, all the local parks, playgrounds will just be overrun with people this weekend getting out unless you're an allergy sufferer that it might be kind of hard. 70 right around four o'clock in the mountains. There will be a breeze in the afternoon so that uh, could uh, make it seem a little less perfect, but I still Still went all the way with a perfect 10. Yes, <laughs> try to go right with the dinging there. So as we head throughout the day on Saturday, as I mentioned, it looks pretty good. Partly cloudy, a little breezy in the afternoon. Nice temperatures. Get out and enjoy it because here's what's coming for Sunday. As we head toward 1 a.m., some showers beginning to push into the mountains, and then that's going to get into the upstate in the morning on Sunday. But the good news is, as all of this works out, we should eke out at least a few hours of sunshine after. So there's 6 a.m. Sunday. Notice 10 a.m. Sunday. Already seeing some of that rain leave the upstate. Might see a few snowflakes up near the Tennessee line and then on into the rest of the day, mostly sunny. Sunny, but it's going to be a little cooler as a cold front passes on through. So temperatures will drop. Not significantly, though, going with 68 for Sunday in the upstate with that chance of rain. Saturday, definitely your better day to be outside. In the mountains, 50s the second half of the weekend. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot chillier. Your best day is looking like Saturday. Next seven days, this is where it gets interesting because it's going to get a good bit cooler Monday into Tuesday. Now, it's looking like just rain in the upstate right now on Tuesday. But in the mountains, we might actually see a few hours of snowfall if the moisture can arrive early enough on Tuesday morning so we'll keep you posted on that but you might see a late season light snow for portions of western north carolina on tuesday and then wednesday thursday we warm right back up there come the 70s thursday and friday of course you can always head to foxcarolina.com for your interactive radar anytime let's head over to chris to get another check in on those busy roadways yeah 85 north and south a mess right now accidents along the other areas including spartanburg county at martin road and church street also in anderson county highway 81 simpson road 85 North exit 32 as well. And in Greenville County, Whitehorse at Birdie Road, 85 South exit 51 at 385. Here's the, the situation right now. This is the northbound lane of 85 right past Lawrence Road. It's a four mile backup to the Gateway Project where an accident is in the northbound lane, seven miles right now from uh, the uh, almost to Highway 101 and exit 60 down to uh, 385 exit 51 where that accident is there. So if you can avoid north or south 85, I suggest you do that, uh, please. Diane and Cody. Chris, thanks so much. One go-kart racer in the upstate really stands out on the track. Operators at Speed Factory Indoor Karting say his spirit is stronger than his body. Fox Carolina's Margaret Burnquist caught up with him in Spartanburg. And she's here in studio. So, Margaret, it sounds like the senior citizen can give anyone a run for their money on the racing circuit. Absolutely. Born in Czechoslovakia in 1948, Joseph Rubal has lived a more fascinating life than most of us could imagine. But at this stage in his life, he says he finds satisfaction in being able to race fast and ignore everyone who has advised him to take it easy. Not as nimble as he once was, 71-year-old Joseph Rubel is a former judo champion, an inventor, aspiring author, and go-kart enthusiast. I good? Thank you. Racing and cars have been a lifelong fascination for Mr. Rubel. I have seen my first car race when I was five years old, and since that moment I didn't want to do anything else but to be a race car driver. He built soapbox derby cars as a kid and tells us how he escaped communist Czechoslovakia in 1986 
by driving a souped up muscle car through a barricade. This car carry us to Austria with no problem. And today, perhaps a few years past his prime, this retired electrical engineer still doesn't give up his dream of being a race car driver. So he continues sharpening his skill. It's everything because once you stop, you go down. You have to practice. Race car drivers call it seat time. You have to sit in the car and uh, practice. He's been coming to Speed Factory indoor karting in Spartanburg every week since he discovered it in January. He competes to beat his own performance times and stay high on the leaderboard. If you do something, it's worth to do it well. And uh, it brings satisfaction. And while several doctors over the years have recommended he slow down, he's not planning on doing that anytime soon. Can I ask doctors, can I do car racing? Oh, no, 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 you, you cannot. And I ask, can I do judo? Oh, no, 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 judo. So I said, I will do it until I can, and then when I, when I cannot do it, I will go. I, I, I am still here. Living in Inman, Rubal says he makes it to the racetrack at least once a week, sometimes twice, and often he will compete up to three races when he is there, which I'm told is as intense as enduring a standard workout at the gym. He says he's designed and created 20 or 75 medical instruments for cardiovascular research, and he's working to author a book. So he's certainly not slowing down one bit. Cody. Margaret.